Man, what's good, everybody? What is going on? Listen, man, I let me tell y'all what's going on with this. Uh, y'all can see this. Uh, uh, what is that? Cherokee. Uh, it's got the three six. Well, the three two. Okay, now three two and the three six basically the same. It's just a uh, three six is baby brother. Well, anyway, I'm gonna tell y'all what's going on. I got uh, actually. That car was making, or well, that Jeep was making a weird, weird knocking sound. Not a ticking sound, a knocking sound. Okay. <laughs> so for some reason, this give off, uh, that engine give off a different sound, tick sound than the typical, uh, the 3.6 in, say, a minivan or a Charger or anything like that. But the, re the results are still the same. Now, I almost misdiagnosed this car. I did. It's an insurance uh, company paying for it. So, doing the diagnosis, of course, you you got to verify the complaint. Yes, I hear the noise, and I'm so upset with myself that I didn't record the noise beforehand. To let y'all hear what I'm talking about, because like I say, it's not your typical ticking three six noise. This one gave off a knocking sound. I was this close to asking. Uh, for tear down time to go in the bottom end like a rod looking for a rod noise or something like that but just because it's a 3-2 Pentastar some told me valve train so I got authorization to tear it down and uh, basically go ahead and put some lifters in it alright so well I got the lifters uh, again the whole time have you ever been tearing something down not knowing what you're going to or not sure what you're going to see but you're already given an estimate and it's hard to go back on your word in other words it'd be extremely hard for us to call the customer or the insurance company back and ask for more money but that is exactly what happened so um i got the valve cover off uh i think that's 135 i think that's cylinder five uh that's where the noise is the rock rock arm did come apart and the cam lobe is wearing oh we cannot, uh, I'm going to catch hell because I didn't catch that at first. Because keep in mind, like I say, they gave me time to tear it down. I went off base, I went off assumption. Something I always say you shouldn't do, I did, okay? <laughs> I have to pay for that. Not not pay for the part, it's just going to be, uh, it's going to be tough to call them back and ask for, I'm sure that camshaft costs maybe two or three hundred dollars. So, what I'm gonna have to do is find another way around this. Now, I um, I need a I need a camshaft. The outer end, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the camera down, and show you what I'm talking about. But the outer edges of the cam is worn. The lobe is still there. I say this all the time. If the lobe is there, the cam still can do its job. But because the outerware has worn off from the rocker being eaten into, then we may have a problem. Oh, I don't want to have a problem. So I don't want to reuse that camshaft if I don't have to. If it's a a choice between you pay, I pay for the cam or use that camshaft, we gonna use that camshaft because, like I say, it's still gonna work. I'm 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 joking right now, but it still would work. I just rather not. So let me take the camera down and show y'all exactly what I'm talking about, man. I I'm kind of disappointed in myself a little bit because I went off assumption. Now, if you get in the future, guys, if you get authorization to tear something down, you probably should go ahead and tear it down and then uh write up your estimate so let me show y'all what i messed up there right, i'm gonna take the camera now all right here we go okay this like i say this is a three two just a uh it's a cherokee it's a three six baby brother right so uh cylinder one three five this is bank one this is bank two uh, all right i told y'all how to determine what bank one and bank two is all right here is my problem right here now this is a 3.2. I have this is my first one doing uh, valve train repair on a 3.2. This is actually generation two, the Pentastar generation two engine. But here's the camshaft load what I was referring to. As you can see, the camshaft came apart and it's wearing into the outer edges of the load. And as you have already mentioned, uh, I basically I didn't. I wouldn't say misdiagnose. I didn't go far enough with my diagnosis because this is a customer car. I really need to. Actually, the lobe is eating into. Okay. 
Yes, the lobe is in, eating into it. Okay, I feel so much better. Because <laughs> like I say, uh, push come to shove, I was going to reuse this if, you know, they would say I had to pay for it. That's not going to happen. But uh, I have a... Uh, actually, y'all know what? This is the only one. Do your inspection. Back to my point. Do your inspection if you pay inspection time <laughs> and go through with it. Shortcuts to get you in trouble. But you know what? I just thought about something. Y'all remember the engine, the video fail engine idea? I'm going to put that right here. Uh, well, we was going to tear that. That was a 3-2 also. We was going to tear that engine in part, but it was locked up. I was going to show y'all a timing belt setup. Oh, man. I just thought about something, y'all. I got an idea. And that engine is on the back of my truck. So what I'm going to do. Uh-oh. Man, I'm glad I my story. Y'all remember the three, two we was going to tear apart over there on the table? Well, we didn't because it was locked up. And that engine is on the back of my truck headed to the scrap yard. All right, y'all, let's go, let's go for a walk. I got a trick up my sleeve. I'm gonna speed this up, this party up, because y'all, I know I'm impatient some of y'all, so let's turn it up a notch. Where is my truck? There it is. There it is. Y'all see all that junk on there? That stuff is headed to the scrap yard. And there's the 3-2 engine that I did the video fail video on. And lo and behold, the camshafts are still on here. Now this engine was seized up, so there's absolutely nothing wrong with these camshafts. And y'all know what? That was a uh, bank one intake. That was this cam right here. Man. Ooh, somebody already had them loose. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what I'm going to do, uh, some of you might not have this option, but um, uh, camshafts are reusable from engine to engine. Now, this is, let me show you something. Can y'all see? See what that says? 3-2. Now, these are not interchangeable on uh, from a 3-6. What I'm going to do, I'm taking them all. This engine is no good headed to, this is my truck, y'all. Y'all remember my little Nissan? This is the only thing it's good for now, hauling off scrap. I did a scrap yarn video, uh, I don't know, about a month ago. Matter of fact, I'm going to put that video right here. Y'all go check that out. I did a scrap yarn in my truck. All right. Y'all don't do this if you're going to ever reuse a block. These caps are married to the head, so... These always have to go back in the same spot if you ever tear a head apart. But obviously I don't care because the engine is going to the scrap yard. Look at that. Camshafts, baby. I don't want to damage though. And be careful, whoa. You see, these got uh, that magnet. Uh, I mean, that tone wheel. You got to make sure that tone wheel is in a nice, good, secure spot. All right, let me get all these camshafts, man. Okay, in fact, I come back out here and get these. I gotta get this engine going. Guys. <laughs> and this is the one, this one right here with the PCV uh, centrifugal on it. That's the one that's expensive. All right, let me get back in the shop and finish this job. I'll, uh, I don't think I'm gonna close this video down. I'll let y'all know what's going on, man. Stay tuned. Let me go to the ad break right quick. I'll be right back. All right, guys. I am back. Yes. Look what I have here. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, baby. I don't have to make a phone call. I don't have to do nothing. I actually lucked out. This is a Bank One intake camshaft. Yep, 3-2. Will work perfect. As you can see, make sure you visually inspect all the loads. Ain't much you can clean the tone wheel up, of course. But as far as visually inspecting, make sure it... You can't. It's going to be hard to because you can't visually see... A tone wheel that's not giving off its signal so these lobes are great this camshaft is getting used this camshaft is shot from a cylinder 5 lobe standpoint all right guys I dodged a bullet so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna end this particular video right here okay now I had a couple of guys keep asking me or ask me 
how to do replace we're gonna assume this is a mini fan matter of fact recently i had a guy ask me how he took the took it apart to do i don't know a phaser or a camshaft one of the two but he having a hard time getting it back on or you always have a hard time getting it back on and he said he has the right tool to use and everything i particularly don't really use a tool but you should use a tool <laughs> because if you don't know the way to do it without using a tool how would you know that you don't need the tool so my point is i highly suggest you get the correct tool to do it with so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna uh, like i said i'm gonna end this video and set a camera right here and uh, go through the procedure uh, if i have the tool matter of fact i'm gonna go get the tool we're gonna do it right so Stay tuned, guys. Matter of fact, sub the channel if you're not already sub. But I'm going to end this particular video right here. I almost, I dodged a bullet on this 3-2 in this Jeep Grand Cherokee. Like I said, it gave off a weird knocking sound. But I don't know if that sound was muffled. I mean, it's a lot of plastic on here, a lot of insulated. I don't know if the tick sound was muffled, making it come off as sounding like a knock sound. Because I was very fearful of the problem with being on the bottom end but as you can see it's on the top of it so let me get this camshaft place and uh i think i got enough room on my camera i'm gonna set up uh try to film the removal process and the installation process i catch a lot of slack by just removing stuff and i always say reverse the procedure to install them but people that's not good enough for some people so uh and this guy was a subscriber so I, what what my subscriber suggests i take very personal and very i take into consideration just some random guy stopping by the channel to get some information on the vehicle i have no problem with that but you know you don't i y'all see where i'm going with this all right so let me shut this one down thanks for watching comment subscribe and i'll see y'all in the next video